Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Bolt Hairspring. I'm very excited about today's video because this is the first time a bronze watch appears on the channel. In fact, it's the first bronze watch that I've ever had on my wrist. This is the Hammerhead 3 by Zellos and it was released a couple of days ago. I reviewed the stainless steel version last year and just like it, this one is a remarkable piece. For that reason, it's already running out of stock, so if you're interested in getting one, you better hurry up. It's no joke guys, Zelos is one of the most popular micro brands out there. They're well known for making some superb quality watches at a reasonable price. What's more, their models feature attention grabbing original designs and reliable either Swiss or Japanese movements, which is precisely why their stock doesn't last long. For 350 US dollars, I honestly can't think of many micro brand watches that offer a better value for money than Zelos. Once again, if you're looking to buy one of these, head to the link in the description below and do it because you really don't have much time left. And as you can see, the more exclusive Damascus steel, crystallized titanium and tantalum models have already been sold out. Before we move on to the actual review, I would like you to have a quick look at the box because it's quite nice. Last year with the steel Hammerhead 3, we were getting a wooden box and the leather case. This year, the box is made of brushed aluminum it doesn't come with a leather case, but instead it has three watch slots on the inside, meaning that you could use it as a travel case. And of course, you also get the mandatory steel warranty card. I know most of the people don't care much about these things, but I do appreciate when brands go the extra mile with the packaging, as it adds to the overall experience. Now, let's get to the point and discuss the dimensions, guys. This is one of these bigger watches that even people with smaller wrists can easily pull off. Yes, the case diameter is 44 millimeters and it may even look slightly bigger than that, but the lug to lug is 48.4 millimeters, which combined with the flexibility of the rubber strap translates into a great fit, as long as your wrist span is equal or greater than the lug to lug of, as I said, 48.4. Next, the thickness of the case, including the domed sapphire crystal is 14.7 and the space between the lugs is 22 millimeters. As always, here it is on my 17 cm or 6.7 inch wrist. Due to the angular case design, it looks really impressive and the rubber strap does a great job at keeping the watch in place so that it doesn't feel top heavy, which by the way is quite of an achievement as the total weight is 138 grams. I wore this watch at work for 8-9 hours straight with a suit and I found it super comfortable so, I'm telling you, don't be worried, neither by the dimensions, nor the weight. When you wear the Zelos Hammerhead 3 Bronze, be prepared to answer some questions the people around you may have, because guys, this watch will definitely attract some attention to your wrist. For instance, a colleague of mine, the chemistry teacher, immediately noticed it, and we even had a short argument since he couldn't believe the case was made of bronze, because you know, bronze watches are not so popular outside of the watch enthusiast community. Anyway, what I'm saying is that because of the design and choice of materials, this Zelos is a true conversation starter. In terms of the design, there is literally no difference between this and last year's steel version. You get the same cushion design with an oversized screwing crown, which is fully loomed and I can't wait to show you the loom as it's pretty sick. Then the screwing case back also remains the same. Some of the specs are embossed on it, as well as a couple of hammerhead sharks happily swimming in the ocean. Needless to say, the build quality is outstanding. When you take it out of the box, you immediately realize that it's a well put together piece. The finishing is also very good. Most of the surfaces are brushed and there are no sharp edges. The case is obviously made of bronze and guys, I'm sure you've already noticed that mine has already developed some very nice patina over the course of the last two weeks. I remember when I first saw people posting bronze watches on the internet, I, I just couldn't understand why anyone would ever want to own one, but then they started growing on me pretty quickly, up to the point where I knew I was going to own one, or maybe two, but definitely no more than three. <laughs> there is just something really cool about knowing that the appearance of your watch will progressively change and develop patina until it eventually turns into something that 
Sir Francis Drake could have had on his wrist during his last voyage. Hey, a big shout out to anyone who's played Uncharted 4. I assume you're interested to see what the watch looks like without patina, so here is some footage from the moment I unboxed it. As you can see it was all nice and shiny. It stayed like that for about two days and then it started to become darker. Good news is that if you ever decide to get rid of the patina, you can definitely do so. Just go to the internet and do some research. Unfortunately, I've never done it, but the typical recipe includes lemon juice and baking soda. And it seems that it takes about 20 minutes to restore a bronze watch to its original state. Alright guys, the next thing we need to talk about is the dial. It sits behind a substantial double domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating applied on the underside. The dial is exactly the same as in last year's steel model and that's a good thing as I really liked it then and I still do. So you get applied indices, a printed logo at 12 and the words hammerhead 300 meters 1000 feet referring to the water resistance printed at 6 o'clock. There is also a date window here with a matching color date wheel so that it doesn't hurt the overall symmetry. The handset style is also the same but the hour and minute hands are now rose gold in order to match the case. On the steel model they were blacked out. Now just a quick word about the bezel guys and I'll show you the loom. It's about 3mm thick so it's easy to grip and turn. The action is solid, all 120 clicks feel and sound very positive and the alignment is perfect. The bezel insert looks like it's black painted but it isn't, it's actually made of brushed ceramics. And just like the dial and crown it's fully loomed. So when the sun goes down guys, this Zelos glows like nothing else in my collection. You get a combination of Super Luminova C3 X1 on the bezel and BGW9 on the dial. If loom is your thing, I promise you won't be disappointed with any of the new Hammerhead 3 bronze models. And finally guys, let me just tell you that the movement inside this Zelos is the well-known NH35. I've had it in so many watches that I've already memorized the specs. It has 24 joules, it hacks, it hand winds, it beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour and it has a power reserve of about 41 hours. The stated accuracy of this caliber is minus 20 seconds to plus 40 seconds per day, but that is the worst case scenario. In reality, this caliber is very accurate and very reliable. In this particular watch, on average, it's been running 7 seconds fast per day, which is a really good result. The last thing I want to point out here is the crown action. It's just fantastic. I don't know what Zillus has done with it, but it's very easy to operate and the hand winding feels very smooth. There is a rubbery feel to it due to some gaskets I guess and the crown stem is rock solid. Alright guys, I don't have anything left to say. I'm very impressed with this Bronze Hammerhead 3. I'm a huge fan of the design. It looks very bold and very aggressive. The loom is outstanding and thanks to the bronze case, you literally wake up next to a different watch every single day. If you are into these kind of watches, for 349 US dollars, this one is a no-brainer. That's the end of today's video everyone. Let me know what you think about bronze watches in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button. I'll very much appreciate it. Thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.